Now this same magnetic field is much more potent if it operates on an aluminium sheet instead of on the mercury. The reason for this is that aluminium is about 40 times more conducting than mercury. Of course, I could make it more potent still if I could put some steel behind the aluminium to improve the magnetic circuit. But instead of this, I'm going to change the shape of the motor. Can you imagine that the two sides were bent upwards and the whole thing rolled up into a tube? Having imagined that to be done, let's make a machine that looks like that. We should find that the windings are very simple, being only a row of coils like this. The moving part is a steel rod with a copper sleeve around it. We put it in the end of the tube and fire. Well, that wasn't a bad shot, was it? This electromagnetic gun seems to have taken us right back to the start with our rifle. It looks as if we can make an electromagnetic model of nearly anything. We've certainly managed to reproduce the gun.